an ETL um, 500 wireless system and we just calibrated Pat just as with the standard ETL 500. He's walk, free to walk around. He's looking at a door with some marks on it. Can you look at the center? Upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right marks. Great. And you want to just take a little walk around the lab? So um, Pat is um, completely untethered from the system and we calibrated him. You can see his eye image is being tracked over here in the um, upper right hand um, screen image. Tracking his pupil and coin reflection. We have his um, cursor moving around over his um, live scene. We have the uh, receiver right here. The receiver set to channel one. The output of the receiver, the eye scene video, goes into the multiplexer, the demultiplexer box, and the demultiplexer box feeds the eye and scene video out to the back of the PC running the um, eye tracker, the eye tracker and the calibrator. So Pat's um, just standing up right behind me now. I'm going to just swing over and I'm going to show you the different components on Pat. Um, he's wearing the headgear with the new very small camera. Um, let me just zoom in on that. You can see this is our new small eye camera. We have the scene camera mounted up on top of the visor, so he's just looking through the clear um, glass. Um, we've got a 12 volt long life battery. You can just spin around so I can show him the battery. This is a, a camera battery, 12 volts. And this is the actual transmitter unit. We have the um, eye umbilical connected to this. We have the antenna. We turn on the power. And we have the ability to plug in an external mic if we want sound also. And Pat can just walk around with this. And you can see, the, uh, here's the receiver. The higher up you put the receiver, the better the data. We've got the new um, on-screen video feature. So we've got both the eye and the scene showing up on the screen. That's just walking around over there in the lab. And if we put the um, antenna up much higher, you'll get even better data results. So um, a clear line of, of sight um, is really recommended for the transmitter. But you can see it's blocked by quite a bit of uh, you know, cable material and monitors and stuff. Sci image is looking good. You can see um, his pupil and his um, corneal reflection are being robustly tracked. And um, he's just looking around different things.